All right, I think I'm going to do a quick rundown of what we have installed uh, before we get started. And by quick, I mean this probably isn't going to be quick. Uh, three, four. So there should be 89 mods count uh, that we have installed, including the core and everything below it. So obviously the core mod is for the core game. Uh, the community core library is a community mod utility. Uh, a lot of other mods use it. Um, you can do fancier stuff with them. Uh, we kind of need it, and it needs to be towards the top. We have the miscellaneous core um, that gives us brain pals, which uh, can enhance your consciousness. It has colonist keys. Uh, so there's more functionality with uh, grouping colonists. Then there's the mod order, which is the mod order we're looking at. Age tweaks. Yeah, so the stone cutting bench is going to be open to us immediately, which is kind of kind of a requirement to get around lumber. Because <laughs> we go places where there usually isn't much. Uh, tease, miscellaneous stuff. This just allows you to build a, a scrap wall. Fast build, easy to break. I thought it might look cool in some places, so I got it. Uh, more floors, wide selection of floors. T T makes some great looking mods. Additional joy objects, we've used that one extensively. Allow tool, I've been using this one a lot lately since this uh, release of Room World. It's pretty great, so you don't have to uh, click on individual things to uh, uh, unforbid them when you kill people. And there's Ancient Amulets by Panda who makes uh, quite a few mods. Um, they're pretty neat, they do some fancy stuff. Anti-bug resonator. Um, this will prevent uh, infestation events in particular areas. I'm sure you can continue to do them in others. Uh, it's not easy to get to. Apparently, it's a higher tiered thing that you need. Much higher tiered. Um, which is good. I like it that way. I would just could have loved this one if we had it on um, Fort Wormhole. It's put in our tree farm. Let's see, a Apparel O2, which is uh, just ridiculous amounts of clothes. Great mod, because there's not that much variety in vanilla. Uh, there's area rugs. You can build a, your build. You can craft a, a, quite a few different rugs and quite a few different sizes and pretty much any material you want. Area unlocker. Areas you can create. I honestly can't remember what exactly that does. Shit. I can be pretty dumb sometimes. <laughs> the amount of areas you can create, like the uh, zones areas. Yeah, I, I never really hit the limit, so I'm not even sure why I've got that mod, but I have it just in case, I suppose. We've got blasting charges for mining, which is, which is awesome. In fact, I thought MMC came with some blasting charges, but that might act Wait a second. Scullywag? No, it's not by the same person who made MMC, I don't think. Scullywag didn't make that, did he? Ah! Blueprints! We can make blueprints to plan ahead if we ever need to. I've used them a couple times before. Cheaper components. It offsets the components' uh, cost when making them with that uh, machine. <laughs> 30, 30 steel for one component is... No. No. Colony Manager version 2.0. We've been using that a lot lately. I really like the uh, the power um, manager section. Really, really useful. Complete Tech Solution. It gives us a new power source. I don't think that's the... Um, I think Scullywag made the uh, power cell thing. I can't remember which which power building that is. The darkness mod. Gotta love the darkness mod. Love it. We're not going to be able to see shit for quite a while, but um, <laughs> I like them. Derma Regenerator. So this machine allows you to remove uh, uh, scars from people, which is really useful. Because um, when people have scars, that usually means they're going to be in pain all the time. And there's a colonist bar, which is updated and working. It's caused me so many problems, but I still love you, colony bar. 
Edge Technologies. Uh, late game metals and renewable sources of metals and stone. Yeah, we can make that uh, miner... Uh, uh, <laughs> the mining robot thing, I think. The laser drill so we can make uh, more thermal generators wherever we want. Had a great resource cost. Plants 24 hours. That allows you to grow plants 24 hours outside so long as you have lighting on them. But I mean that... Or without hydroponics or whatever. But that doesn't... <laughs> It, it won't really matter. Shields. Um, this will allow us to build shields to block from ranged weapons, but we can fire out of them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be building any of those. Depends on what happens. It might be like if we get in a situation where I can use one of those and shoot at a uh, at one of those those damn psionic ships that <laughs> end up dropping on our map. Yeah, we'll have to do something about that. Enhanced tabs, that gives you a lot more information and uh, things to look at under the worker tab and the animal tab. Really great mod. Uh, see, extended power. Yeah, this will give us uh, switches. Um, not only will we be able to switch uh, turrets on and off, we can run them through uh, like circuits or whatever, but we can also uh, turn our outdoor lights on and off with... Um, daylight sensors, I believe. We have expanded prosthetics and or organ engineering, which adds a bunch of surgeries and a bunch of mo uh, body mods. It's one of two. And it also allows us to craft them. There's extended storage, with which gives us a lot more buckets and shelves and stuff to put stuff on. I love it. Flame weapons. That gives us our flamethrowers, uh, not only the uh, sentry gun ones, but the uh, handheld of the uh, variety. Floor lights. Uh, we just added some new lights into the game. We've got ceiling LEDs, which I love. Now we can have some floor lights, so uh, MJ can come out and visit the colony someday. Our social network overview, that's where we can see the web of relationships between colonists as well as between ourselves and other factions. Follow me! That allows us to uh, lock the camera onto a single colonist and follow them around. Deroofing charges? Sure as fuck do. You're getting ahead of me, Apartheid. <laughs> Glitter tech. That's going to add... Um, it's going to make things a little confusing because it adds bionic mods and it might even make things fucked up. Who knows? Let's see what happens. We're going to have two types of bionics and two variety of advanced bionics with certain surgeries. Uh, but it also adds cybernetics. And I wish it was... I wish it was kind of combined with the uh, advanced prosthetic mods. Where it was broken out into different chunks, because there's um <laughs> there's a lot of good, uh, interesting late game buildings with glitter tech. Heated paths uh, for so we don't have to constantly shovel snow off of our paths. Heavy defenses mod that adds a bunch of turrets uh, to the game. High calibers adds a bunch of guns. Uh, hospitality that allows visitors to actually visit, sleep in beds, give us stuff for hanging around, be entertained. LED lights, those are the ceiling lights I was speaking of earlier. Great stuff. Less incident trolling. It's as it's, <laughs> this as it says. Minimum time between solar flares at 54 days. Minimum time between eclipses is 24. It doesn't get rid of the incidents. It just tones them down quite a bit so it doesn't happen so often and so they don't overlap. I'm pretty sure they do normally. Anyways, dog said allows us to add prosthet uh, it adds pro animal prosthetics and surgeries into the game. Then we have the alert speaker, which I really didn't I overlooked before, but um, I read I happened to look at it again, and it apparently boosts your colonists with adrenaline when when they hear it go off because of uh, a raid or whatever. Somebody going berserk. There's going to be a trickle popping here constantly. Then the mining helmets. Always awesome. Uh, the mining module where you can scan. Uh, it's great. Mad skills so people's skills don't um, deteriorate. Map rerolls so we can reroll the maps. Very useful. Medical training so we can autopsy corpses. Medical info. It gives us a little inf uh, medical option at the bottom. Uh, gives us an overview of everybody's health statuses. Useful for telling what bionics you, meet, you need. Mine text allows us to make landmines, especially radioactive variety. Of the radio radioactive variety. God, I'm tired. 
Miscellaneous incidents. Um, yeah, we can send people out to go treasure hunting and stuff. Map, map generator adds new buildings to the map generation. Uh, miscellaneous objects. Uh, what does that add? Oh, the nano storage replicator. And a turret weapon base. So we can basically make our own turrets. If we get one of these turret bases, we can put whatever gun we want on it. Uh, let's see. We can get uh, DJ Roomba back with the robots. Then there's the robots extension, which apparently you get with a garden. Or, or there's a gardener bot. You want it to be? You can you can change and <laughs> make the robot however you want it. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Miscellaneous training. That gives us <laughs> the dummies to shoot and beat up. Modular tables. We get the single tables, which are great. More faction spawns. Uh, it ups the um, the spawn multiplier multiplier for factions. There's much more on the map. Uh, furniture, is, as it says, there's more furniture. Trade ships makes uh, those orbital trade ships show up much more often. Pretty great because they hardly do anymore in this uh, version of RimWorld. More vanilla turrets. It just adds another variety of turrets to throw in there. Panzer mufflos. Uh, those are going to be the caravan mufflos. Uh, be nice to get one of those guys I, they might end up selling them i've seen them do stuff like that before then there's personal shields shields that you can actually like shoot out of uh an upgraded version of power armor looks pretty cool uh power cell that's that um powered building there's a power cell item you can get pretty expensive and hard to find but you make a power plant out of it then there's powerless which will allow us to make uh lamps and stuff out of the glowstone Bunch of other early game stuff. Quarry? This one's uh, new as well. Uh, we'll be able to make a quarry and mine out of it infinitely. Great for uh, uh, for <laughs> open maps, which we might look into doing. Giddy up. Uh, when I click that link. Let's see. Rebalance steel trade that makes traders bring more steel. A right tool for the job, it adds tools like picks, hammers, tool belts, I believe. Rim fire too, it adds a variety of new weapons. Rimsonal does the same, but futuristic kind. Oh yes, both great mods. Uh, Federation, that's a new faction. Uh, Rimsonal, same with Feral. New faction. Uh, Rim hair, used to be Enemu hair. Great pack for more hair. Security pack for more turrets. And a storyteller pack for no new storyteller. Uh, I guess Hild Hildegard's going to be our waifu. Well, you know what? I did switch to her during the last colony, but it didn't really seem to do much. Well, we'll try for her again. We may as well, I guess. Distributed a heat. That one's, um... That one adds, uh... <laughs> heating, cooling and air ducts into uh, walls. Plus you get the ducts themselves so you can create cooling and heating systems. I never really got into that much before because to me it feels a little complicated, but it's pretty simple. I just I just haven't gotten around to trying it. Then there's a roof bomb so you can get rid of the fucking roofs like Apartheid was trying. Arcibiter? I don't know what that is. Huh. I don't remember seeing that one anyways. Right. We also have the fuse boxes, which is great for uh, those fucking surges. Uh, there's storage that adds. It's not the same storage I'm thinking of. <sighs> Shit. Oh, that's uh, the quantum quantum uh, stockpiles. That's why I can never remember it, because it, do it doesn't actually say quantum stockpiles in here anywhere. Fuck. <laughs> Listen. <I'm>... Yeah. <laughs> RTGs. Uh... Oh, yeah, that adds a new power source. Then there's small NPDs, which is uh, the nutrient paste dispensers, so we can build a smaller one now instead of the fucking huge ones. There's smart bears that allows us to take... Uh, Advanced trained bears, uh, grizzly bears, polar bears. Soil like green allows us to press humans into soil like green tilled soil so we can uh, make our soil more viable. Vegetable garden adds a shitload of stuff. So many things, so many foods, so many sweet stuff. Vein miner, <laughs> really great mod. 
so you don't have to mine all that shit one at a time and just kind of guess. Speeds things along quite well. And finally, EDB prepared carefully. One of her favorites, of course. <sighs> oh, yeah, I did look at that, actually. I don't think I'm interested. The blue one? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I played with her once. Anyways, we're going to create a new world. Owevs. Yeah, since there's a quarry and stuff, we might even embark on a flat, uh, Aishi. Eckerd? Etchard? I have no idea how in the hell you'd pronounce that. Looks pretty frosty, actually. <laughs> Tundra, boreal forest, plenty of ice sheet. I guess we'll save it. Yeah, our sipiter. Oh, I think you might be twisting my arm a little bit, Apartheid. We might try her out. What difficulty, though? Challenge? Yeah, I see that. I think we'll go for challenge. I don't care for extreme, honestly, because I think it, that's when it, that's when it feels to me like some games do, they make the, the chat, the difficulty artificially higher and they just fucking stay up ahead like bitches. But that's just me personally. But hell, what do I know? I can't read. Got a lot of worlds. Been doing a lot of testing. I'm sure this is going to turn out well. You're right about that, Goldney. I have no idea if it does or not. Though there is the component machine that we could create. I'm not sure what exactly we will need to, do you know, construct it. But I'm pretty sure there's some re research involved that we have to go for. I don't know if you start with it. You might have to research the quarry itself. Oh, I'm certain you gotta make it. Or we could do something like... I mean, we went really, really, really cold last time. We could try, like, uh... uh Tundra. I don't think I've ever actually settled in the tundra. Well, for that matter, I don't even think I have in the Arab, Shru Arab Shrub land. All the other places, though. Extreme desert I have. Desert I have. I would like it on the colder side. The open plains. And another thing that'll that'll do is it'll allow animals to spawn up, I I would like to think. 4.7, 4.9. Do like large hills. There's mountains and large hills. How about large hills?
somewhere way up in the corner. Now, I'm not even particularly crazy about the temperature being positive at all. Shrubbery? There's no shrubberies around here. I'll have to get those elsewhere. Granite and slate. Tundra, small hills. First, we're going to prepare carefully. You know what? I think we could probably go female this time. Why not? Last few have been males. I think it's time for a powerful female dick butt to come into power. Layla dick butt. A.K.A. Lashonda. <laughs> Lashonda the butt. I don't want to fuck with her. Well, let's, let's take off her hat first. Oh, she's got a shaved head. Um, how would she look with, uh, oh, with ginger hair? I would imagine that great. Oh, wait. No, it's his damn glasses. Yeah, so, obviously, as you can tell, there's a lot of clothing again, but, oh, Jesus Christ, there's her hair, Jesus, I actually kind of like her hair, dark green looks pretty cool, short mom, that looks good. Sassy as fuck and crush some motherfuckers. Let's give her some regular pants. Wearing a silver ring, apparently. She can keep it. Prototype hive armor. No, you don't need any hive armor, I don't think. Uniform coat? That looks cool. Give her some jeans and a and a overcoat. I think we'll leave her without a hat. That looks good. You guys probably know where we're going already. We're going to make her uh, <laughs> a coma child. So, all those years lost to what? For what? Nothing. 
But imagine that would affect her psyche a little bit. Make her a little psychotic. Even spend her teenage years as a mercenary. Even though it says Vosnes. Being hired to kill and maim others. She was tall, menacing, and frightening. She could instill fear into the hearts of any man who crossed her and kill anyone she wanted. When was when was gay added as a trait? Unless it's always been there, and I've just overlooked it. This this is update. She's gonna be a psychopath, a cannibal, and uh, a robot. <laughs> That's new. That's got to be in a mod. Lashonda is a robot. <laughs> no, 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 excuse me. Lashonda is an robot. As a robot, she is a bit faster and not really sensible for psychic phenomena. It's actually a really good thing. I mean, she's got to be kind of a cyborg, and I'm, I'm not really sure how it affects the rest of her stuff, but to be honest, that would pretty much take care of everything. Oh, she's going to be badass. She's going to be... <laughs> I think of the path we're going, she's going to be more OP than she actually needs to be. We can actually leave off Psychotic, too. Because if you take Psychotic off, which I took so she wouldn't get pissed off at other things, um, I might even start some relationships with other people. Dislikes men, no. Green thumb, no. I mean, we can even make her more OP, like I said. Jogger? Is it Jogger? Make her even faster. Hmm. One thing I don't like about being faster than the speed of light is always living in darkness. Ugh. I mean, you could make her industrious as well. It's just only adding speed. Fast walker, that's adding even more speed. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we don't even have to worry about cannibal, adding cannibalism in there. With a plus 100 to, to her mood at all times, it doesn't matter. She, uh, she can be in the... <laughs> In some pretty bad situ be in some pretty bad situations and still be fine. No. And yes, you are correct. She is going to pretty much be a cyborg. Um, not only that, the stats don't even really as matter uh, matter as much as the uh, body mods she's about to get. Definitely don't need a joy wire. Uh. It's an electronic brain pal. Let's do the first advanced bionic eyes, I think. There's going to be a couple different types of these arms. Oh, so there's a power arm and then an advanced power arm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's just do the first advanced bionic arms. Advanced bionic legs, advanced bionic ears, <laughs> advanced bionic dentures, Orion exoskeleton. We don't want the exoskeleton suit. We could get like a bionic spine or advanced bionic spine, but here we're going with the exoskeleton. Going with adrenaline and drugged ribs. A la the advanced prosthetic bond. Nose, pelvis, we can leave all those alone because they only have like replacement. 
and cybernetics because she is in fact a robot, right? Right. 45? No, she can be much younger than that. I guess she'll only kind of look 20. But maybe she ages. She ages. <laughs> she ages just like the rest of them. Right. Now, what to bring along? Probably nothing but wood. We'll allow the 300 wood to come with us. Well, you know what? Scrap that. We'll uh, we'll drop it down to 100 logs and take it from there. Don't fuck with Lashonda, cause she's got some major wood. Yeah. do have the option to re-roll the re <laughs> re -roll the map if we like and I guess this is what hills look like I've never settled on hills always flat open ground or mountains I think I'm beginning to regret my decision all right well I <laughs> I guess I lied. I mean, negative 80.9, the coldest part of the year, and negative 29.2, the warmest? How can you turn that down? How can you do that? Lashonda well, fuck what? What? Go me. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> I say file names. The maturity is paramount. Oh boy, there's tanks. <laughs> and we'll be able to see in these buildings. I'm not sure exactly which mod does that. One of them does it, though I'm sure I'll be waiting quite some time before opening any of them. And this place actually doesn't look half bad. You know, we might not even re-roll this map. But I'll tell you one thing we're going to do. I'm going to re-roll those geysers. Oh. A little laggy. Give us one back there. Two. <laughs> one geyser. Two geysers. And that might actually be a nice start for some heat as well. Poor Lashanda. No food, nothing. Well, she's got some wood, but that's about it. Some steel over here. There's a shimp up here, but that's not going to give much steel. Probably going to have to use that stuff to... Uh, Build us a little home. She's also going to need some food. So another thing we're going to want to do is kill all the animals on on this map as quickly as possible because they will not be responding. Oh wow, they fixed that uh, 
An icon. A foraging icon. <laughs> Too bad we're not, gonna, we're not gonna be doing any foraging. There's 14 bunnies and two polar bears, 10 mega scarabs. Well, hopefully, uh, the Shonda doesn't get numbed on. Oh, I'm sure she could. She might stand a good chance to beat a, a bear's ass. Efficiency 80%. What's wrong? Nothing. It's a brain pal? I think that's the electronic brain pal. Lovely. Lovely, Lashonda. Lovely. All right. Well, I, I guess I lied. I mean, negative eighty point nine. The coldest part of the year, and negative of twenty nine point two. The warmest. How can you turn that down? How can you do that? Lashonda fuckwad? What? <laughs> Go me. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> I say file names. The maturity is paramount. Oh boy, there's tanks. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be able to see in these buildings. I'm not sure exactly which mod does that. One of them does it, though I'm sure I'll be waiting quite some time before opening any of them. And this place actually doesn't look half bad. You know, we might not even re-roll this map. But I'll tell you one thing we're going to do. I'm going to re-roll those geysers. Oh. A little laggy. Give us one back there. Two. <laughs> one geyser. Two geysers. And that might actually be a nice start for some heat as well. Poor Lashanda. No food, nothing. Well, she's got some wood, but that's about it. Some steel over here. There's a shimp up here, but that's not going to give much steel. Probably going to have to use that stuff to... Uh, Build us a little home. She's also going to need some food. So another thing we're going to want to do is kill all the animals on on this map as quickly as possible because they will not be responding. Oh wow, they fixed that uh, an icon, a foraging icon. <laughs> Too bad we're not, gonna, we're not going to be doing any foraging. There's 14 bunnies and two polar bears, 10 mega scarabs. Well, hopefully, uh, Lashanda doesn't get numbed on. Oh, I'm sure she could... She might stand a good chance to beat a, a bear's ass. Efficiency 80%. What's wrong? Nothing. It's a brain pal? I think that's the electronic brain pal. Lovely. Lovely, Lashonda. Lovely. That's much better, though. Let's roll with that, shall we? Let's unforbid the wood again. And... Z-Metal. We need to get her warm. But of course, we need those fucking geysers again.
that's not so bad a setup either. Especially if we wanted to build a defense right here. Wall this off. It'd take a lot of walling. But it'd give us uh, quite a bit more room. Oh, there's <laughs> this wall over here. That's going to be fun. Sure, Apartheid. That. Whatever that is. Either way, we're still going to need a space for Ashana to go. A warm space. A safe space. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's hives in here. That could be problematic. However... Because I get to be all cheaty like. Get to see what's in there. But, um, Lashad is probably not gonna have a great time. You can already tell. One steel. Those scrap metal walls are actually gonna come in handy. Oh, there's some uh, steel up here to gather. Yeah, I'd like to leave at least two spaces. On the other side of that geyser. Maybe more. Yeah, something more like that. It's a little wooden door that takes five lumber. No, I only I know I only have a hundred, but for this first building, I might actually want one of those. Just a simple cheap wooden door. Actually, not too crazy about a building being all the way back up there. Ah, eh, we better save it. 25 steel. Fuck it! I don't know why I'm procrastinating now. It's not like I'm going to be in the future. Oh wow, apparently it's only spawning mega scarabs in here. Oh boy. Oh lord, that's some jade. It's a mega spider bastards. No, those guys down there I shouldn't have to worry about. And these guys will hopefully freeze to death. I think they are. Nice. Go, Lashonda, go. No. Okay, she's already set up properly. If having her just mine up here would be a better choice. Since she'd have the walls. Or the uh, steel to take care of the walls there. Come back! The steel! Cuddle up to the hives. Well, we won't have to worry about these hives because they're deteriorating already. These mega scarabs are freezing to death. Or they will be. I don't know about the mega spider. He's going to be left alone down there, I think. So we probably don't have anything to worry about. Oh my god. Now, see, that's the Glitter World mod and Lashonda being a cyborg and all that. She's kind of a little bit insane. And by insane, I mean really, really, really good at everything. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's going to get her enough steel to do whatever we, she wants.
In fact, she's so good at everything, we're going to have to keep her from doing certain things. Otherwise, it's going to end up causing some um, major balance issues, I guess. I could I could put it that way. Uh, you might want to bed to sleep in, Lashonda. Guest bed. No, 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 no. No, no beds for guests. Not yet. You can build some regular beds, though. gonna be plenty of beds for her. Is she it's probably gonna be a while before she's hungry. But it is gonna happen. Hell there's snack packs down here anyways. We could get a stockpile up here, just a preliminary one to start um organizing. That's fine. Negative 10 degrees in here. Is she even shivering? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, she's got minor hypothermia. That's not good. It's still warming up in here, though. Well, not anymore, obviously. <laughs> More scrap metal walls, please. Oh, we could even, even, we could even, even this up. You were to be so bold. Yeah, she's off for food. Even though she's a robot, apparently she still needs uh, some snackage. Apparently she's great getting the uh, metal down or the steel from down there. I think uh, we're probably not even going to be using Lashonda for everything. Once we get enough col colonists in, she's going to take more of a passive, uh, more passive role until she can just kind of hang out, hang out there and not have to fuck with anything. And she's getting a little cold. All right, it's going to be at least warm enough in there. Yeah, it's only about freezing in there, <laughs> which is. Uh, Considerably uh, more comfortable when it is out here. Yeah, those bugs are losing body parts to the cold. And the nests are, are gone. A lot of that spider monkey. So there's just pods down here. I don't know if we want to send her down there after, after those without a weapon. Oh god, first night. I should have thought of this. Because it is going to get... Stupidly dark. Here in just a few seconds. Oh yeah, we don't even have any components. But there's a ship part. Around here somewhere. Here it is. Definitely get some components from it. Let's just get started with the basics, shall we? You're gonna at the very least get a light inside and a light outside. Although I'm sure the snow isn't gonna be too great about it. Or too uh
too friendly with us about it. You can build a floodlight, but it costs one uranium? Jesus. I am curious, though, about that. I, I, I am interested. A steel table and a light. Apparently it attaches the beds, too. It'll increase comfort and rest effectiveness slightly. Includes a lamp. I like that. I will use my credit card. How about that inside and then just like a floodlight outside? LaShonda, you know what? You can also do whatever in the fuck you want to do. Because you are a machine. No, they don't, Tiddlywinks. Though I was looking at a mod that, um... I don't know if it replaced the sun lamps, but it added new sun lamps at the very least. Uh, that generated heat. I can, I considered getting them, but I was like, I don't need multiple, multiple types of sun lamps when I know I'm already going to be using the, uh, UV lights. Hmm. Shit. Almost forgot we need to get this ship wrecked, too. She should be able to get those lights going now. Yes, mark the wreck indeed. <laughs> Oh, did she leave the sh She left the components. Well, she's going to use the steel up there anyways. Whatever. So I wonder how much that increases comfort. Masterwork, superior, superior, excellent. She makes good quality stuff. If anything, we should probably have Lashonda just doing, like, uh, crafting. Probably be the most useful I could think of. It's just slightly warmer than freezing inside. Good, good, good. And she's actually going to sleep, and she's already back up. Yeah, she slept for less than an hour, and that's all she really needs. How's your hunger doing, Lashonda? Ha. Huh. And you know what? I don't see any plus 100 cyborg thing. Robot. Permanent mood effect, plus 100%. Well, I don't see that. Oh, I think it's actually all these drugged ribs fucking with her. That would make sense. Are you still meditating? Jesus. That's fine. It'll keep her happy. Hey, we got some light. Actually, not all that dark out here. So I think we might be using this for a prisoner room up here. Um, oh yeah, stone cutting. That's going to kind of be a big thing, right? Right. Well, we will definitely be making that out of steel as well. Just start making some blocks like crazy. Wait, how are you doing, Lashando, on food? Well, she's gonna be getting hungry soon. I think those animals came out here and ate some of those meals. So we may have to have her murder some bunnies. Well, we're going to have to 
Let's craft her a weapon first, of course. Let's see what uh production there should be a crafting spot. Oh, there's a quarry. Buried resources. Yeah, I'm really curious about this thing. We are definitely gonna be building it. Um Crafting spot. Not gonna be using this thing very much, but uh whatever. I'm gonna go crush some bunnies with this <laughs> with this stone club. Use whatever you want. Then we're gonna need a butcher's table as well. That needs 20 wood. No way, there's no getting around it. You probably could punch him to death, but may as well give her something. Uh, I was updating my hard drive, Novia, and while I was, and when I did it, I guess my old hard drive decided to die, and I lost all of my data, which is fucking amazing and great. And I also lost two sticks of RAM, that too. Been a fun past couple of days, and <laughs> it's too much. All right. Sorry, bunnies. It's time to meet your maker. Oh, she made a steel club too. Let's check it out. An excellent steel club. This weapon rep <laughs> bears a representation of Lashonda riding in a drop pod with incredible force. Let's see, Akinda is fleeing the impact of fear. The scene takes place. There be <sighs> There's no way to <laughs> be able to survive out here. The scene takes place in the middle of a town, and the work is in shaded red. Yeah. It's to uh, commemorate her landing. Hey, Luca. And yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can always, you can always do something about it. <laughs> Smack. Did that bunny just bark? I believe that bunny just barked. Well, thank you anyways, Luca. Hey, Catman. So now, we have bunny bits, and we... I think I might have to research that smaller nutrient paste dispenser, unfortunately. But I definitely don't have it now. At least I don't see it. Got the big one. No matter. Lashonda could probably just make fucking meals out of these guys anyways. Hell, I'll probably start throwing everything up in here. some malls and stuff too of course but hey we've got blocks now 180 slate yes please and thank you yeah I'm done with the wooden stuff now though I think in fact I might even disassemble some of these doors because we can make uh 
tomato doors now. Now we're going to be moving all this shit up there anyways. Apparently I can't put, a, put doors on these metal scrap walls. This one's going to need replaced and fucking ripped out. I don't even know why I'm digging all this shit, to be honest, either. Because we're going to have this big-ass generator right here. Eventually. Hopefully. I wouldn't mind some batteries. That. What is it? Home? Hmm. I can't remember. The quarry? Yeah. yeah. We could try out the quarry. Just want to leave this spot open for uh, some turbines. Down here. Maybe. Hell, we could probably put the quarry on rock anyways. Or underground. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, you can. Looks like. down here. Maybe. No. How about up in this corner? Something like that. Sure. Sweetly. Oh, there is some bunnies really far out there. Oh, great. Lashonda's got hypothermia. Run, Lashonda! Oh, great. This is what I get for going after bunnies! She's got frostbite on her ear. Switch one of these to medical. You know what? Go rest until you're healed. By rest until healed, I mean just come in. I don't think that's gonna her ears gonna fix itself. So she's gonna have that bothering her for a while. Yes, I know a game. Get out of the bed. Are you just gonna rest and try and rest in your bed? Yeah. No bed rest, Lashonda. Hate to say it. You're gonna have to deal with the frostbite. And you know what? I'd rather you not go hunting anymore. <laughs> These nights are pretty dark, but they're not nearly as dark. As the ones in other biomes. Yeah, I'd prefer it if you stayed up here, Lashonda. Unless you're going after components. Yes, you are. Yes, please and thank you. Don't lose her nips to frostbite. I don't know. She got them cyborg nipples. I'm gonna have to get a door up here as well. This geyser isn't gonna be able to keep this area warm for long. Can I build a more. I guess that is a marble auto door. Shit. 
All right, I guess marble auto doors is what we're going with. One right there. We're going to need to run conduit through here. Coitus. Place these fucking walls eventually. But we'll deal with it for now. You know what, Lashonda? Why don't we just have you haul all the components? Just bring them all back. How about that? Uh, please don't freeze to death. Well, apparently, there's some steel in there. About uh, a couple more doors up here. We're not going to have enough juice for all of them. We need more components. Imagine that. At least there's some down here. Alright, what do we got? Thanks, tutorial. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. I do not. Oh, fuck. That's right. I have to use it. Jesus. I forgot about that. Damn it. Makes me regret building that first butcher's table. Build one out of uranium? A uranium butcher table. That doesn't sound like that couldn't have any bad consequences. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be a poor decision at all. That's getting pretty cold back here. <sighs> Two components left. <laughs> Damn it! All right, for the stockpile, uh, clear all. We want food in here. We can be brought in from that stockpile. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> I should know better than to try to put conduit through a natural stone wall. We got negative two in here. I thought the heaters and the coolers were upgraded. Or changed? Apparently not. Not even the vents? No. Think I might have fucked something up. <laughs> oh, and apparently we found uranium in there. Awesome. And the diplomats' village are hanging out. They're on their way to, anyways. about some batteries keep us from losing power like this every once in a while in fact how about another turbine mayhaps even two
Hypothermia? The hell's that? There we go. Go back inside where it's nice and toasty. Yeah, I guess I could try that floodlight out now, couldn't I? Well, if we're going to do that, we should probably move this light inside. So we can see a little bit better. Maybe even... Another shelf of light. Uh, speaking of which... Floodlight. So... Imagine, for being a floodlight, I might want to put it way out here, right? Oh, it's tight. Wait. Well, I guess I can't build it out of other materials, so never mind. Go ahead and make another lamp outside. Asthma container for the uranium? We could, but I don't even know where I want anything to go. I mean, still, still pretty flat, fresh. Speaking of which. Should we uh, get a little curious and check out? What's down here? Might be able to find some titanium mans. You guys gonna make it? so and cat wants to trade oh what does it do it's just it's just for holding uranium that's it all the new uh, storage things like that there's a bunch of different ones but they they allow you to store different things in them like fabric campner for fabric obviously food baskets um, wooden pallets I think you can I think that's for building materials then. Medicine cabinets for med medicine, obviously. Steel skips, all sorts of neat stuff. Hey, they made it. Let's trade with Cat. He's got a shitload of steel. Uh, yeah, that steel rebalance thing, it, <laughs> it really rebalance things. He's got a component. You know what? Let's buy a bottle of rum. That way Lashonda can have herself a drink. Needs a table still. Eventually this, either this door right here is going to be gone, or we're going to wall off down here. We'll probably end up walling this off right here at some point. Yeah, especially if the quarry is there. One thing we probably should uh, concern ourselves with is getting some defenses set up down here. I mean, I can start with just getting a couple walls uh, set up down uh, between these two points to keep anybody from breaking through. However, well, we can still probably do that. I want <laughs> all of these geysers. 
Not that that matters too much either, because... I mean, I can't... I do have the laser drills. Maybe it'd be easier to wall this off and use this as a choke point. To capture those guys? No, we probably could. Not sure if I want to though. There is a lot of open ground down here. Kind of why I like the last place because we had so much room. Maybe I should take care of this building first. <laughs> 